in terms of things that I would be concerned about or things that I think about beyond our school, mm -hmm. coming back to the social justice piece, you know, it's, I do have some, uh, I'll put it this way. We're always working to make our model available to mm -hmm. families that want to be there. And we run on 90 some percent on tuition. And I have started the Whole Life Learning Foundation. And oh, so we, we raise, we, you know, we do fundraisers all year and that goes towards scholarships and tuition assistance. Mm -hmm. I would really like to see more of holistic education available to families and children all mm -hmm. over the country and the world that, you know, right now it's, it really only happens in private schools or mm -hmm. homeschooling, you know, or homeschooling right. um, co-ops and, and things like that, as far as I know. And right. I've looked into the, um, the charter process. It is daunting <laughs> to say the least. Yeah. It is yeah. like 6%, at least in Texas, it's something like 6% of charters get approved. And it's oh, wow. you basically have to have it, make it your full-time job to work on the application, which is like a doctorate thesis by yes. the time it's done. This is the Agentic Schools Podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world, where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg.